One of the critiques, as you know, and it continues to linger around Alibaba, is the piracy issue. This is an I, there's an IP issue, and it's, a, it's an issue all over China, but it, uh, it, you, you take the brunt of a lot of it. Yeah. Uh, how much progress have you made in your mind, and how do you think about some of the regulatory bodies in other countries, including the US, that continue to criticize Alibaba for these issues? First, when we start to do this business, as a business like this size, you have to take all the criticism. You have to listen what is right, what is wrong. And second, as e-commerce, when you put 10 million small business, empower them to sell. We do not like Amazon buy. We cannot check. Even you buy when you buy $55 trillion or $55, 550 billion, you cannot check every product. So the model itself and the e-commerce itself may have a lot of these flaws. And third, I would say in the past 17 years, we are the leader of this anti-privacy issues, the IP, protect the IP. But the second, we are internet companies. We do not have the law enforcement. We find this guy is selling product, cheap, uh, you know, fake products. We delete them. We cannot arrest them. But we have a huge progress. Last year alone, we put 400 people into jails. We deleted 370 million fake products listing on our site. I would say we are the leaders, and we are using the big data to check who's buying, who's manufacturing, who's selling, what is the address. So now I'm happy about the whole world, especially China, all the government organization, start to realize the issues. So I would tell you a good thing is that today, when you go to those criminal group, which I call them criminals, those fake products, manufacturers, sellers, You've praised the quality, though, of some of these. Uh... I would talk about it later, right? <laughs> Those criminals said they can go anywhere but not, not top on Timo because using our data, we trace where they are, who they are, what's the address, what they mount. And we will deliver this to the police station and working with them to arrest. The quality issues is something I want to share with people. It's not by praising the fake products. I want to say that for so many years, those branded companies, you have to be very careful because the fake products, their quality improving is scary. That is the difference between us because when you find the guys, the thing that people said, this is fake. And you have to find people, you have to find a third party institution to check if it is fake or not. We find sometimes the quality is better. And I tell you, another thing is even scary. A lot of, there's a one branded company. He said, we are selling fake products. We check everything, there's nothing wrong. So we said, hmm, what is wrong? So we buy the products from his frag shop and deliver to them. They say, it's a fake. You, you know what I'm saying? Yep. We buy, shop, buy things from the frag shop of this brand and deliver back. It's the fake products, they say. So it's a bit confusing. This is fighting against the fake products. It's the war against the greedy, human greediness. It's not easy. You cannot finish it, but you have to continue to fight. And I want to say we put 2,000 people, 1 billion IMB every year fighting against that. It can never finish the war within two years. But I'm happy. Whether people criticize me, criticize us, the most important is that we are happy about the progress we made. Right. But if people praise me, so, you know, when people say, Jack, you're wonderful. I know I'm not wonderful, right? Oh, Alibaba was great. We are not great. We are just a 17-year-old company. But when people say, you're doing nothing. No, we're doing a lot of things. But you don't have to argue. You don't have to debate. You do what you believe.